Hello everybody. As you might have realized, I started to play around with the Unreal Engine 4 and this is an entirely new world. And I thought I want to share some of the things I found out and it took me quite some time. The reason is there is a lot of information around but the information is in many cases outdated because there are newer releases of software and uh, to pick out the things which then really are true is quite a challenge. So I'm not saying that uh, this will be perfect. So if you have better ideas or things you know, then please put it in the comment. The first thing I want to do is bring the rounded edge shader from Modo into Unreal Engine 4. And you must have at least Modo 901, I have Modo 902 and I use Unreal Engine 4.10. Ok, then let's start. I have prepared a mesh here and I give it a name, I call it uh, high poly and I give it the material so M and call the material also HP for high poly then I control copy M, uh, N for a new mesh control V and call this new mesh low poly and give it also material and uh, so M again and call this material LP as well. Now we have two meshes and uh, they are absolutely identical and the reason for this exercise is really I want to show how we can bring the rounded edge shaders from Modo directly into Unreal Engine 4. So the only thing I change here in the shading is the high poly uh, material I put a rounded edge width of 25 millimeters and I leave the smoothing angle at the default of 40 degrees. I will talk about this smoothing angle uh, in one of the next videos. But for the time being this is the only difference between the two different materials. So um, first I go to I go to uh, items mode and select both items then make sure everything is selected then I go to edit center to bounding box bottom now the center is at the bottom of these mes meshes and this makes sure that when we import it into Unreal it will not sink into the floor. Ok, so that is done. Next I need uh, UV, UV maps which can be used. So I go to UV edit and I select the low poly and I found that the UV projection tool Atlas works best for this kind of uh, geometry. There are other geometries where it does not work so well but for this it works pretty well. We don't need any in the high poly mesh but we need two uh, we need two UV maps if we want to bring it into Unreal Engine. So I call this one map 1 and 
the next one, map 2, is being used for the lighting and map 1 will be used for texturing and we can just copy this and paste it into here and now we have to the reason I could uh, ask Unreal Engine to do it for me but then very often we have overlapping UVs and Unreal does not like that at all that's why I do it manually like this okay now we have all we need to uh, do the bake and I use the baking UI, it is free, you can download it from the Luxology site from exactly the same place where you did download your Modo software. It is nothing which you couldn't do without it, but it's just nicely all in one place. So we start up here, we need the normal map. Here we could also uh, bake a lot of other maps which we don't need for the time being. The target object is the low poly, the uh, source is the high poly and we use the UV map which is found first. We only have one UDIM and uh, we don't need a cage and this 500 millimeter distance works well for me and the output folder is this one and by the way uh, you must start modo as administrator because otherwise the baking UI so you run it as administrator otherwise the baking UI will not work okay let's go back here and override existing files let's see if we have something in here I delete this and then go here and bake and now we should have this in here it is uh, the mesh name normal and the UDIM number this is the standard naming convention of uh, the baking UI, as you can see here, target, output, UDIM. Okay, next we need to set this uh, texture. So I add a layer, go to image map, load image and select the baked image and bring it in and it uses it as a and then we can go to surface shading and assign a normal map and as you can see now I will take this away and go to model we can close this and you see now we have the rounded edges with this normal map on our low poly model. Now there are only two things left since Modo. Uh, I will go to the lists tab here and you see here uh, under other maps we have nothing and I will go to vertex map and since Modo 901 uh, you have this create mic tangent basis and this is uh, nothing done we must select the mesh so again vertex map and now you see we have a map in here 
and it's a tangent basis map. And this is what Unreal Engine 4 also uses. And the other thing, I don't know if this has existed before, I don't think so, is in the uh, normal map properties, in the text locator, we can tell what tangent vector type we want to use and this is the cross product one. And now we are all set to export this to uh, Unreal Engine 4. To do that we go to, no, first we select the mesh we want to export then file, export as, and we export it as Autodesk F BX 2013 and uh, yeah, test is fine. I call it uh, test 0, 4 or 3. And now You see we have this test 03 FBX and as you might have noticed for some reason my key recording software does not work with Modo anymore. But anyway, uh, I try to mention the keys I was using. We are done now here in Modo and we can go over to Unreal Engine 4 and here I have all my stuff and will import it to uh, static meshes. So select this. And by the way, this probably looks different in your Unreal Engine. Yours probably looks uh, something like this. But I want to have the central uh, window the biggest and you can dock these uh, panels here wherever you like. Okay, so anyway let's import this and it is our test 03 and here uh, we don't want to import it as skeletal. This would be for something which uh, is animated and we don't want to have generate light map UVs, otherwise uh, you Unreal Engine will do the light map, the second one, but we did it manually. And you see here import normals and tangents and the normal generation method is MIG T space, uh, space and uh, there is no other one. So there is an arrow but there is no other normal generation method and as I said since Modo 901 we can do it directly. So import and now you see it has imported uh, our mesh. I can just drag it out here and the material is not the best one to show the uh, rounded edges so I will change that by double clicking here, go to the material editor and we see um, the UV map, uh, sorry, the, the normal map which we have baked has been imported as well and has been put to the normal here. I give this a little bit another color something like so and uh, then I drag in a constant. I can either do it this way or if it has a shortcut here I can also press the one key and click in here and it has the same result. So one I want to have on the roughness. This is way to. Uh, this is like a mirror 
roughness is from 0 to 1 and I put in 0.4 and this here I want to give it a metallic look not the plastic one so metallic is either 0 or 1 so and then we are done and can say apply close this editor window and now you see we have our rounded edges nicely visible. If I do a lightning build which will take a while I will uh, edit this out in the video and as you can see now we have a shape with perfectly rounded edges and this is a very very low polygon shape which looks perfect. Okay that's it for today. I hope you liked it and found it useful and depending on the reaction to this video I might do some others or let it be. So thanks again for watching, take care and have fun modeling with Modo and playing with the Unreal Engine 4. Take care, bye bye.